Hey guys, welcome back to the Hannah channel. Today I wanted to do a Jeffree Star haul video. Um, he recently had a sale on Memorial Day. Well, not recently, but I just now recently got the packages. I got it today, which today is Thursday, and I got one yesterday. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but hopefully soon. And it is raining outside. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it's pouring in rain and it's thundering really loud. So please disregard that. But hopefully we can go ahead and get into this video. So I got a couple of things. I got two lip scrubs, one lip ammunition, and I think that's how you say, and four highlighters. And I'm excited for all of these. I'll just go ahead and start off with like maybe the boring stuff. But these are just the lip scrubs. I got spearmint and strawberry gum. And that's just what they look like. To me, these packages are very different. For me, I'm not sure if the spearmint is part of the old packaging and the strawberry gum is part of the new packaging. But these are just what they look like. I feel like the lid on the strawberry gum is much more shiny than the one on the spearmint. And I just feel like the lid is taller and like different. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but that's just how I feel. And these were only $6, I think, on sale. And I think they're originally $12. The next thing I got, which I'm wearing, is the Lip Ammunition in Granddaddy Perp, I think is how you say it. But this is just what the packaging looks like. It's very sleek, very beautiful. It reminds me of a bullet, and I'm pretty sure that's what he was going for. And this is just what the color looks like. It is very blue, but this is the second time I'm wearing it today and when I took it off my lips looked more pink and it gave it like a stain look but not in the blue tone but more of in a pinkish tone which I thought was pretty cool but um this is the first ever like lipstick I've ever gotten that I have used properly it was very hard for me to put on this lipstick honestly and like I don't know why but like I'm just more used to applicators that look like this and that one is just like a lipstick and so it was just harder for me to use but I guess we can go into the more fun stuff in this video and that will be the highlighters so I have four highlighters and I got all of these on sale these were $14.50 and I paid for all of these things with my own money this video is not sponsored whatsoever probably should have said that in the beginning but I got the highlighter so F and go peach goddess ice cold and Siberian gold so I'm excited to try these I think the one that I probably won't be using as a highlighter much is so F and go just because I'm not I'm not really that into it and this is just what it looks like I don't know I feel like I could probably use this one as a more of an eyeshadow but I haven't really used it as a highlighter yet and I probably will wait until another video before I do this one but I don't know I just feel like it'll probably show up like a little bit dirty on my skin this is just what it looks like a little swatchy swatch for y'all I think it's a beautiful color, but I just feel like it would just show up a little bit more dirty on my fair, fair skin. The next one I want to talk about is Siberian Gold, and this one I'm actually really excited for. I know it looks almost similar to So F and Gold, but let's just give a side-by-side -side comparison. This one definitely looks a little bit more gold to me, and this one just looks a little bit more brown to me. But let me give y'all a swatch of Siberian Gold. And here's just what it looks like. I think it's really beautiful. I feel like that might be beautiful on the skin tone. But then again, I also feel like it might be just a little bit too dark for me. But I'll just give it a go anyways. And the next one I have is Ice Code. I heard so many good things about this one. This one is honestly the one that piqued my interest the most. I got the other ones just to try them out. Um, there's two of them that I wish I could have got. A little swatchy swatch. But you can just see how pigmented that is. But... There's two of them that I wish I could have got. I wish I could have got King Tut and Lavender Snow, I think is what one's called. And I've seen pictures of the Lavender Snow one, and I really wish I would have got it. But on the King Tut one, they sold out in like seconds before I could get my hands on that. So hopefully the next sale he has, I can get it. But this is just what Ice Cove looks like. It's very beautiful, and I feel like this would be very beautiful on the skin. I'm going to just give you all a little swatchy swatch. 
but this is just what it looks like on the skin and I can't really see it and which I like that about it but I feel like it just has a beautiful beautiful glow to it and the last but certainly not least we have this beautiful peach goddess this is just what it looks like it's very very beautiful and I can't wait to try this on my skin and all of these are very soft like they are so like when you touch your finger in it it's like velvet or buttery smooth and you can just barely touch it and it has pigment and this is just what it looks like right here I think it's very beautiful so today I have two different brushes and we're going to try out two different highlighters so I think I'm going to try out Lavender Snow on the left side and Ice Cold on the right side and we'll see how that goes. And this is what Ice Cold looks like. It is very shiny. I am very in love with it. So now I'm going to go in with Peach Goddess and we're going to see how this one performs. Ooh, that one is really good too. Oh, I like that. Girl, I'll be shining for days. Whew. Now that's a highlight. So, I just want to talk to you about a YouTuber real quick. Um, the YouTuber Jordan Byers, I know I mentioned her in a few videos before, but she recently done a review on Jeffree Star Highlighters, and I was going to link her video down below and her YouTube channel, so if you want to check her out and subscribe to her. But she did a full-on review of his highlighters and told you, and she, like, sort of said what she thought about them. So, I'm going to link that down below. And this is not, like, a review for his stuff. This is just, like, a little haul. So, I ain't going to really talk much about it except for that there's good pigmentation and it is really beautiful. I probably should have gotten another limp emulation because I probably should have got a more wearable color so that I can really get used to lipsticks because I really would like to get some more of these because the formula is nice on these and I really do like them but I'm, I'm not sure just how I feel about lipsticks but that being said I really do hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't I'm sorry if you like to and I love you too please subscribe to my channel and also you can match that bell notification on the side to let you know when I upload and I think that's really really cool. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, or Facebook, that'll be all down in the description box below. And if you have any like requests or just any videos that you really want to see, I will just leave them down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try to do those videos for y'all. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!